Prelox is an ingenious mechanism developed by humans to have control over which ways transcription factors go, thus allowing us to control the expression of genes. To reorganize genes and control the direction of the transcription factors, two teams are needed. The flock signs signal where and in what directions the gene needs to be changed, and the Cree team carries out these changes. Cree is a recombinase. It recognizes, cuts, and rearranges specific tag sequences of DNA. Cree only acts on DNA sections, which are delimited by LOXP sites. These LOXP sites can be placed by generating a transgenic organism, the Phlox mouse, on the gene of interest. The Phlox mouse has LOXP sites placed at genes to be changed. A Cree mouse can express Cree, whereas a Phlox mouse has determined genes with LOXP sites. When a Cree and a Phlox mouse are bred together, the resulting offspring has both the ability to signal the sections of genes to be changed, as well as the ability to change these sections of genes. The LOXP sites are similar to road signs for Cree. When placed in certain orientations, they are able to signal the Cree that the section of DNA they enclose needs to be changed. When Cree is expressed, the gene is manipulated according to what the LOXP sites indicate. Like different road signs mean different things, the way LOXP sites are put generate different reactions from Cree. Two LOXP sites not facing each other leads to the gene being taken out by Cree, or knocked out. Two LOXP sites facing each other leads to the gene being taken out, turned upside down, and put back in the sequence. One of the most powerful aspects of this technique is the ability to control Cree expression to regulate when, where, or in what conditions it can act on the LOXP sites. Cree can be expressed at sites using transcription factor promoters, drugs activating its expression, inducible promoters that can be artificial, or tissue-specific promoters. This allows us to express or repress a gene in very specific conditions. There's an outcome of these techniques that may have undesirable effects. The repeated action of Cree. Because LOXP sites are not changed after Cree action, they deliver the same message if Cree was to act again on the DNA sequence. In the case of LOXP sites which face each other, the piece may be turned again if Cree is not removed. This may be a problem when looking at a gene which is activated by these LOXP sites, and can be inactivated if turned around again. Cree LOX has been used in ingenious ways to create mechanisms like brain bone. Using Cree LOX, gene coding fluorescent proteins, the combinations of cassettes and promoter thia one LOXP pairs up matches and leads neurons to express a color. The cassette colors are arranged in ways specific to Cree LOX actions, and express a protein that is colorful. Different neurons may express different levels of fluorescent protein, depending on how the LOXP sites are set up. Thus, they can have unique colors. This allows us to better look at individual neurons and differentiate them from each other easily. Although we focus on Cree LOX here, many systems with similar modes of action, such as, such as FlipFart, ATTP, and ATTB, also exist. These techniques have opened endless possibilities to make research on neurons and gene expression more efficient and faster.